This is Lynn Como with Close to My Heart. Have you ever wondered how to create the artwork that I do with my Kit of the Month Club members? Well, here's how I'm offering an opportunity to show you how to cut and measure using my signature cutting guide on a virtual online class on Facebook. So if this is something you're interested in, please follow along as I explain the details and what's included. This is really something exciting for me to share because I love teaching my customers how to cut and measure so that they can create beautiful artwork on their own as well as follow our how-to programs and always duplicate the artwork that I create because these cutting guides are my signature to creating 8, 10, sometimes 12 pages depending on what I'm working on for some of Close to My Heart's beautiful workshop kits. So let's talk about the first one. This is documented. And in Documented, this is a Workshop Your Way kit. Now, Close to My Heart includes a special workshop where you can use their cutting guide to create their pages as well as cards. But what I like to do is offer you the chance to duplicate my signature artwork, which is different from that. And these are the products that I use as well. So these are things that you would need for the class. And I'll let you know that if you email me, I will also send you the shopping list of what you need. The only thing I want to tell you right now, though, is that this, this product line retires at the end of August, so that's a week away. And we'll be offering the class on Monday, September 10th at 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. So let me go through some more of the details about the product line. But every one of the Workshop Your Ways has beautiful pattern paper and some cardstock. So let's show you what's in here. So this pattern reverses to this side, the beautiful stripe. And these are called zip strips, and we always save them. They're about a half an inch wide. Love the chevron, which turns over into a floral design. Then you have the beautiful purple, which also turns over into the pink and gold bows. The brick paper is one of my favorites, and it will turn over into the notebook paper. And this green paper, I've used this a lot for little um, borders, and I love it. And the matte paper is one of my favorites. So all of these papers are in there. Then we also have Picture My Life cards. These are 4 by 6 and three by fours, and we cut them apart, and we either use the whole card or we'll use pieces of it, and I'll explain how that works. You also will receive dotted dot, documented dots, which are three colors of self-adhesive dots, documented titles, which are wood, and they're self-adhesive. They're beautiful to work with. And then we have complements, and complements are, in this particular case, are two sheets of stickers, very pretty stickers, you can see the color. And as well as chipboard that is a craft. Actually, it's more of a craft than a chipboard, but it has the feel, not so, almost the weight of chipboard, but really nice. So that also comes in the kit. And then there's also a couple of sheets of cardstock. But I want to let you know you will need more cardstock in order to make the pages. So there is an option to buy, which I highly recommend. All my customers buy this. It's the car coordinating cardstock pack where you'll get three sheets of linen. And all of our pattern, all of our cardstock, excuse me, has two tones. The darker side is the natural color, and then there's a lighter side when you flip it over. And I explain that in my cutting directions. Bashful, which is a pretty pink. Eggplant, which is a beautiful purple. And then New England Ivy. So you get three of each of the four colors, so that's 12 sheets. You may also want to purchase white daisy cardstock. I use this all the time. Uh, it's just a great base to work with, and it's a beautiful bright white. The other items that I'm using in my kit, which are optional purchases for you, is this beautiful documented card making stamp set. So you could buy the stamp set alone on its own. So you can see I've lovingly used it. I'll turn it this way so you can see. Beautiful sayings and the flowers and the border. Really nice, really pretty to work with. And if you like, the set also can be purchased to, along with the thin cuts 
So these will be cut out to match these flowers. One, two, three. Any of these stamps that have a line around it means it has a thin cut. So all of the flowers in this border has a thin cut. So you can add that on. I did use Memento Black Ink. I did use these beautiful Shinhan markers, which are alcohol markers. So pretty to work with. Uh, you might like to add the orange if that's a favorite of yours. And I will have all of this in the shopping list. Another one that's on sale right now while supplies last is this blush shimmer pen. And I'll show you how I've used it. It's only $2, so that's a really good deal. And a lot of my customers had this burlap ribbon, New England Ivy ribbon left over from a previous kit. So I was glad to be able to incorporate using that. So that's an optional purchase for you. You can use anything you want, but you can always use this where you pull the strings apart and use them separately. You could do two together, three together, tie them in a bow or whatever. But I'll show you how I've used it on the layouts. So that's pretty much it in the things that you'll need. So let me get into the artwork. I want to show you these beautiful pages that you can duplicate. And remember, I'm going to show you the class is free. I want you to make the purchase through my website, and I'll send you the shopping link uh, if you email me and let me know your email address, and I can tell you more about it. But here are the pages that we will duplicate. The BU. These are pages one and two. So, so pretty. The wood embellishments, we have all the dots, we have the chipboard pieces. This is a zip strip cut apart. You can actually add a flip flap here. So that's actually where this should be, but covering that up for now. And you have the chipboard pieces and the craft stickers that are popped up. So you definitely want pop-ups. It's a really fun thing to use. So that's one and two. And I do um, have a special surprise for you if you do sign up to do this with me. This is pages three and four, memories. Now, I wanted to show you, this is where I use the shimmer brush. I don't know if you can see the little shimmer on memories as well as on the flower. Can you see that little shimmer? It just adds a little extra detail. I love using it. And these are uh, great to work with 4x6 and 3x4 flip-flops, so that's something you could add on. You can change this to a photo if you don't want to use the awesome today. So that's totally your call. You can see down here I use this ribbon, which is a sticker that I cut so that it looks like I use the whole thing, but I'm using pieces of it. I love to share the little details and how you can get more out of your paper. Now, if you like that memories layout, that's great, but maybe you prefer the other side. So this is optional for you. You can flip those these pieces over. I'll show you here. If you flip this purple over, it's this pattern. The um, This is another piece of paper, and I've used this strip here, here. You flip this over, and it's the doors. If you flip this over, it's the chevron. So it's the same beautiful layout, but maybe you have something special. You want to celebrate a new home. Somebody's coming home. So I wanted to show you that these are always options. You can always flip things over and change it up a little bit. So it's either one or the other when you decide to put it together. Oh, I don't know if you noticed here. I stamped that home. That's a stamp, okay? If you want more information on that, let me know. But I did use the shimmer brush on there as well. So you can see the little shimmer. Love this layout, the colors. I can think of school uh, with some of these colors as well. So here's uh, Live Your Story, which I popped up. It's raised. Now, here's where I use the markers and the stamps. All of these beautiful flowers, I thin cut, I stamped with the black memento ink, and then I went in with those Shinhan markers, and I colored them so that they're really, really pretty. So that's always an optional purchase, okay? You don't have to do exactly what I do. You might have flowers that you could use, and that's fine. Here's where I use that New England Ivy burlap ribbon. I really liked popping a little bit of green with that. Um, this is a Picture My Life card that I used. I just dovetailed it. That's what dovetail is when you cut that little V. And adding little bits and pieces. I always save my scraps because they always make a great... Uh, accessory sometimes to other elements on your page.
And then this one is love this happy. So to remember before I showed you this picture, my life card, this makes me happy. Well, this is fussy cut out and I really love the way it looked here. So I popped it up and I just love this pattern, but I didn't want to go heavy all the way around the whole paper. So this could also be a great travel page. And here's where I did some more of the markers with the flowers. So that's optional to you because you can also make some really beautiful cards with some of the scraps as well. You can use your flip flaps here. This would be great for journaling. Now here's the thing. I love being able to use up my scraps in other ways. So if you decide to make this purchase through me and join the virtual online class, you will be able to make this paper, this uh, two page bonus, okay? What's beautiful about it is all you need is white paper. That's why I recommend buying white because you're going to use probably, I don't know, eight pages. Um, but I will send you the charcoal pre-cut, all these charcoal mats. I love pink and gray, how great it came out together. This is one of the PML cards, great for journaling. I, you could easily put that in a flip flap if you wanted to. I just stuck it down with a piece of, so you could flip that up, cover that up with another photo. All of these here, that's a picture my life card. And I'm just going to show you what I mean by that. Here's a picture my life card. Here it is. Here's everyday goodness. That's here. The door, if you flip it over, it looks like this. So I used it here. So I really had fun playing with that. Here's the camera. And then these are some other pieces of either the compliments that come in the kit. One thing I used is a one and a quarter inch circle punch to cut out of that gray map. I thought that was a really cute idea to add to the craft world so that it looks. Now, this would be a great school page. This could be travel. You Maybe you have a beautiful journey that you're working on in your life that you want to memorialize, whatever it is. So this could be an extra two pages that you can get out of the same kit. And I'm not charging you for the class. I would love to have you make a purchase uh, give it a go, see how you like it, so that I can teach you how to use my cutting directions, okay? Because once you understand how to do this, you'll be able to use, do all of my kits, which really makes great sense. And then I also will send you the photos of all the artwork as well. So check the link below. I will put it in the description of where you um, can find me on the, the internet and I will share some information with you. And remember, the class would be Monday, September 10th at 8 p.m. And the best part about a virtual online Facebook class, it's on, it's in Facebook in a group. So you have to have Facebook. Um, I will invite you to it. But what's nice about a virtual online class is that the live video will be there for a while, probably for a month, so that you can go back and refer to it if you have any questions. So, well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this uh, inspirational and want to give it a go. It's a great kit. It does retire the end of this week uh, of August. So here's to having everything documented. And I hope to see you on this journey of mine and try out my new online class. Thanks so much.